Accordion is a fascinating instrument. Like many of you at an early age, I was astonished by its potential of expression, its virtuosity and its capability to breathe. Apart from wishing a happy 75th anniversary to the Pigeony factory, I aim this short video at young people who may have doubts for their future in a period that has pushed all of us to really focus on what we wish for our lives. Even though our magic box has played and still plays a central part in popular cultures as the instrument of joys and sorrows, the search for legitimacy has been inextricably linked to the history of our instrument. In other words, what to do, what to play and how to play to reach the institutions and to touch a wide audience. With the intense work of the accordion community in the past decades, our beloved instrument has been included in many conservatoires, music academies and festivals. It is also an important tool for contemporary creation, as evidenced by the Ricordo al Futuro database, which includes more than 10,000 works composed within the last 100 years for the accordion by a variety of composers from all over the world. Accordion is a chameleon, the potential of orchestration, of fusion with almost any other instrument has been a key to reach new spheres, to give a contemporary light to so many different repertoires, whether it be baroque, classical, modern, folk, jazz, etc. French philosopher Barbara Cassin speaks in her essay Plus d'une langue, More than one language, about the importance of languages evolving with time in a process of tension and contact with other languages. I sincerely believe that our instrument evolves in a similar way, since it has been able to grow thanks to musical and human encounters, inclusion and respect towards the diversity of cultures. Be yourself. Play what you deeply feel like, but do it as good as you can. Be aware of what people achieved before you, acknowledge and support what your friends and colleagues do. This will probably lead you to freedom.